mathematics and astronomy were had become regular disciplines taught to the students both at the elementary and at the higher levels of dissemination for example there was sridharo from bengal whose text was extremely popular in this region in eastern india then there was mahanandin of benares from 9th century ad who was also very famous and shripati from maharashtra then when when we come to the 11th century ad onwards we have a very particularly uh, important text which also became a very popular text on astronomy but we, which is anonymous unfortunately enough it is surya siddhanta now this surya siddhanta actually is act a very good compilation of all earlier calculations and concepts on astronomy and there was a foundation chapter where all the geometrical principles which come into the aid of astronomical calculations were laid down now besides that we could say that the most eminent scientist of early medieval period was actually bhaskaracharya the second do you know that he composed a very big compendium which is siddhanta siramani it had four different books under it and one of the books i think you have heard about it is lilavati a book on arithmetics and then we have uh, the other three uh, adhyaya the ganita adhyaya the gola adhyaya the bija ganita adhyaya so all these taken together was a very big research work bhaskaracharya second probably was again another first person the one who first expounded a concept that the earth had a gravitational force bhaskaracharya the second came up with this theory that uh, the earth had the akrishta shakti a particular force which keeps it in its own place thereby propounding for ha- perhaps the first premises for developing the concept of the gravitational force of earth so these are the things for example aryabhata had already calculated the circumference of the earth because he believed in the rotation of the earth he also calculated the whole year in terms of days and he gave almost an exact calculation that is around 365 days a little bit more than the normal idea that we have now so these are the certain significant achievements which laid the foundation and then we had the early medieval period developments in the fields of mathematics and astronomy